Hi friends, it's Sleepy, and we're playing the Ultimate Decades Challenge. We're here at the Vincent household. Everyone is fast asleep. Shannon and Joseph's sad news didn't leave this family unaffected. It's been a year and a half since Thomas has passed away, and the farm is moving as smoothly as one could hope. So let's just enjoy some relaxed gameplay today. It is halfway through the year 1313. Edward woke up. <laughs> who are you dreaming about? I don't even know who that guy is. As you can see her hair has grown and she has a new nightgown. It was a gift from Robert. Not that he plans on doing anything about her in nightgowns. And then Elizabeth sleeps with her mom. They have a difficult relationship during awake hours, but Elizabeth still feels really attached to her mom. I've been having Mary make a lot of cheese and flour, so hopefully we have enough come famine time, which will be in a year and a half from now. Robert, you should wake up. I feel like he would get up and get to work. Who did he... I really overreacted, but he was uh, thinking about Mary. <laughs> Does he have a beard coming in? Went right over there to look at her. Oh, and that's his son now. Don't get me wrong. Oh my goodness. I wish um, the kids could make food. I think the boy should wake up and Marjorie. They all have um, things they need to tend to on the farm. William's on cow duty and crops. John's on chickens and assist everywhere else. Marjorie <laughs> uh, helps with the kiddos, cleaning, anything. Oh, hi folks. You two just staring at each other? Join cooking. Oh, did he need help? What is going on, everyone? Is this like... Are they getting closer? Join cooking. <laughs> She's just offering tips from the side. Excellent. Good job, Robert. Everyone grab a serving. Robert did the harvest. I need to actually sell some of these goods. I'm going to get John's garden skill up by giving him some of the tending to do. Everyone better get dressed before they run outside. Oh, William can't water all yet, but I'm sure Robert can. Mary, I'm gonna have you cook up a storm. Take care of this kid first. Do we just have one cow going through a wall? I think we need to buy more. Let's get two more cows. Get to know them. William's a good boy. Oh, Robert didn't get his milk. Elizabeth, you look stuck. Why don't you clean up? What did Mary end up doing? She's with her son. Upstairs just chit-chatting. That's not what I asked her to do. Oh, oh. oh, that's... I thought she was gonna take care of that like an adult. Oh, I can't pick that up myself. You gonna pick it up? Show me you're the best. Yay! Robert's solid. He's cleaning up over here. He's too much. We don't deserve. I'm kidding. Mary deserves him. Oh my god, Marjorie's out there. Going crazy. Mm, speaking of crazy. Playful Mary. Oh, I'm glad Mary seems happy. Hi, Robert. Bye, Robert. Um, we're gonna have Magdalene and Anne come visit from Joseph and Shanna's today just because it's only been a couple of months since baby Jacob passed away suddenly after birth and you know it's kind of sad over there um, it's a bummer Shanna's definitely still in her mourning period she's taking it pretty hard I think because of low morale recovering uh -huh. has been hard too so the girls are gonna come over here and hopefully that's really fun for all the kids that's why Mary's making a fish head stew today something nourishing and plentiful for the extra guests what the heck
What just happened in my chicken coop? Uh, Robert and Edward jokesters. That's lovely. Why did my chicken coop lose its mind and... <gasps> Have I been losing chickens to foxes lately? I keep seeing those things that I think are like the kids, um, like messes they make. But it has just red and white and I've been thinking like, that's odd. This whole time, this whole time, it's been, it's been foxes. I am so mad. Any more foxes that I should be aware of? Anne is here and Magdalene is where? Oh, Magdalene ran by, I think. Oh, all the way over here. This is a weird situation. Hi, Anne. Oop, weird. That was terrifying. What are these two up to? Oh my gosh. What, Mary? Oh, nah, that's what. I thought, oh, he didn't let her. Try again. Why don't you call everyone to meal? Gather around yonder, folks. I don't have enough chairs for everyone. This family right now. Aww. The way Magdalene just laughed. So cute. I can't stop. I don't know why Anne's standing in the corner. Are these two going to flirt sometime? I'm just sitting around waiting for it. What if Mary flirted? What would happen? I think not in front of the kids. Aww. What happened to Edward? Oh, that poor baby. He's trying. Where'd my guests go? Oh, do they leave? They didn't tell me. That poor baby. That is the sweetest. Okay, William, let's do one last check on the cows. Marjorie and her missing tooth couldn't be cuter. I think the sun is setting on the Vincent household today. I think I saw some promising interactions between Mary and Robert. Oh, I think it's just a matter of time. How can you resist this helpful, helpful person? Before today is through, I want to go to the Turner, um, the Turner farm because Rebecca needs to age up to a toddler. We are here with the Turners. Oh, Joseph. He is also having a hard time with the loss of their son. You know, for Shanna, it's been back-to-back -back losses. She lost her father within months of giving birth and losing her son. So it's rough around here. Oh, yay. Rebecca, could it be sweeter? She's the cutest. <laughs> Thank you, Miles, for cleaning up. And... I'm not sure why you're acting out, but I know that no one's going to bother to discipline you. They are beyond caring. I just want to take care of some mundane tasks before I have to do something I'm nervous about. And yeah, how about you be useful instead? Oh, they have pet things. I could get them a cat. I think I just don't really want to take up a household spot. I had intended to give them horses. What a good egg. I can't believe Miles. Industrious. Oh, does Shanna like gardening? Sure. So, Miles, I know you're not the focus right this second, but what do we think about the ladies? Ah. Oh, you think Shanna's very attractive. Miles' sentiment about Shanna crushed. That was who he was crushing on in the last episode. Oh my god. I mean, who wouldn't? Shanna is one of the most beautiful sims ever. And I'm sure Miles thinks she has a magnetic bosom. Oh, and their amazing compatibility. 
let's just keep on the friend level. There's no danger of anything there. He's just admiring. What did he end up thinking about Naomi? I thought she was cute. Miles just thinks she's attractive. And then what else we got going on? Rapunzel? Jesus. Wait, is he literally on fire right now? <sighs> Sorry, he screamed. I think Gia's like way older than he is. He does give main character. But Miles is how old? Miles is 17 now. So he is a man grown, as uh, George R. R. Martin would say. Sorry, I've been reading Fire and Blood. <laughs> In my Ultimate Decades universe, male sims and female sims can get married at ages 16, pending how dire things are. So clearly, Miles is on the older end. Excuse me? I guess that was a prank. Are these two not going to be friends? Joseph, why don't you age up, Rebecca? Rebecca aged up and she's going to be silly, silly Rebecca. And she looks perfectly adorable. <laughs> oh, I love her. Let's fix her up. This is why I hate the foxes. can't stand it yeah you tell him bunny honestly i know you can handle it but i'm getting rid of him they come back as fast as i get rid of them it is saturday the last day of 1313 and we're gonna close out with the vincent family their team brought us some healing and some pain 1314 also turned out to be a fairly eventful year not as many birthdays, but we will have our first heir age up to a teen. Um, if all goes well, they do have a good chance of survival from child to teen. So I look forward to getting to do William's makeover. Oh, we're behind on the laundry. So cute. Wait, what happened? Okay. Adorable. Stop it. Stop. Oh. I swear, Edward loves hugs. I guess Mary needs to apologize to Elizabeth for something. I don't know what happened, though. Are you serious right now? How's there another fox? How's there another fox? I'm legit crying. If I lose a chicken, I'm crying. I'm literally crying. Apple? F you. I'm so annoyed. You know, Robert, I think he feels that they've been living together for a year and a half now. Almost two years. And he's tired of playing it safe. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, I didn't order anything. Don't go in my bathroom. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Before we go inside, oh. <laughs> I can't resist. Yay, we have a romance bar. <laughs> Mary is receptive. Oh, wait, I just set them off. Wait, hold on. A lot happening. Kids are like starving in the house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is my autonomy broken? This is getting out of hand. Was there like a dam? And this is like all these pent up emotions just like crashing through. Yeah. Why don't you go? Oh my goodness. 
Why don't you all just cool off? What does she have for buffs? Tilt to Lady Banter. Desire. Oh my god. Why don't you feed the kids now? Everyone's saying that they're hungry. Okay, we have finally, like, broken the seal on what is Mary and Robert's relationship. What are they going to do? It's been almost two years, like I said, and... There's a mutual respect. I, I think they both really still don't want to add children to this mix. Just some love and affection, emotional intimacy, just appreciating each other's mind and souls. That might be really nice for now, especially with raising the children they already have here. Edward is just too... Uh, but now that I have started them in that course and the game autonomy seemed to just take off, uh, I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to have a lot of control on this. So I can't wait to see what happens next. I know that a lot of people are rooting for these two to find, I don't know, solace in each other in a way, in a loving way. Uh, so I think we're, we're heading right there. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment if you think Mary and Robert should have a child. <laughs> oh no, Magdalene sent another message. I wonder what it could be about. We'll find out in the next episode. Thank you. Take care.